Today we're kicking off a brand new project. We're taking a stock 2003 Nissan 350Z and turning it into a Spec Z race car right here on Power Nation Garage. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? I'm Gannon Pritchard and it's time to start a brand new project here in the garage with this 2003 Nissan 350Z. We spent about $7,000 on this car and it's a fantastic car, but we're going to turn this into that. This is a National Auto Sports Association Spec Z race car. These offer drivers an affordable way to go racing and the rules help keep the competition tight. That way, the best drivers rise to the top. So today, we're starting our Spec Z race car build, a project that's going to show you how you can build this car in your garage. The Z is without a doubt the most iconic sports car Nissan has ever made. In 1969, it premiered as the Nissan Fairlady Z in Japan and was introduced to America on October 2nd of that year as the Datsun 240Z. The US version had a 2.4 liter inline six with Hitachi carbs making 151 horsepower. More than 45,000 240Zs sold the first year alone. In 1974, an updated 260Z was introduced powered by a 2.6 liter engine and an available 2 plus 2 body. One year later, the 280Z hit the streets. Now cranking out 170 horses thanks to the new Bosch fuel injection system. In 1979, this second generation 280ZX sold over 86,000 units in its first year, a sales record that earned Motor Trend's import car of the year. In 1984, Nissan revamped the Z, dropping the Datsun name and adding a new 3.0-liter V6 engine, making the Nissan 300ZX. In 1990, the 300ZX twin-turbo version again garnered the Import Car of the Year title. However, sales slowed in the mid-90s due to the American demand for the SUV, so the vulnerable Z was pulled from the U.S. market after the 1996 model year. But Nissan roared back into the States in 2003 with an all-new 350Z. The V6 was now making 287 horses and a perfect candidate for Spec Z Racing. <laughs> to get a baseline on our stock Z, we've come to our favorite racetrack, NCM Motorsports Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky. With a quick check out of the car done, we can now install the V-Box Video HD2. This video data logger uses GPS, OBD2 port info, a G meter, audio, and a high definition camera to record our runs as it overlays the information on the video. That way, we'll have many factors to compare the stock Z to our spec Z racer once it's done. It's about time to see what this thing's got. Oh yeah. NCM Motorsports Park is a beautiful 3.15 mile road course with challenging features reminiscent of the famous Le Mans racetrack. For our baseline test and the final test, we'll be running what's called the East Circuit of the track, a 1.1 mile technical loop with extensive elevation changes where I can really put this car through its paces. The awesome thing about our V-Box is the incredible amount of information that overlays onto the in-car footage. In the top left is the NCM East Circuit with a green dot where our start finish line is and a red dot is where our position is on the racetrack. There's a speedometer in the bottom right with a G meter above it showing lateral forces on the car and above that it keeps track of lap time, laps, best and last lap info. This will all really come into play once we've finished building the race car to find out just how much better it is over stock. According to the V-Box, my best three laps posted for this session were one minute, 3.36 seconds, one minute, 3.66 seconds, and one minute, 3.80, giving us an average of one minute, 3.60 seconds. Well, that's the end of the first day of baseline in the stock 350Z. This car is pretty good, I gotta be honest, but it's gonna get a whole lot better. We're gonna get back to the shop. The party just got started. The first thing we need to do is start disassembling the interior of the car, and this is for several reasons. First, we want to take out as much unnecessary weight as possible. 
The sanctioning body of the Spec Z class is the National Auto Sport Association, or also known as NASA. NASA sets the minimum weight for our class between 3,100 and 3,325 pounds, depending on the year and model. For our 03, it's 3,100 pounds. You want to get as close to that as possible. Second, you can't compete using stock seats. You will be installing NASA approved five point harness race seats. And lastly, you're going to have to get everything out of the way to weld in that roll cage. As you can see, we've been hard at work getting the weight out of this car. The next step is to have a professional remove the front windshield so we can take the car over to Earl Owen's chassis to install the roll cage. Now this is a real race shop. Tons of project cars and lots of tubing for building a roll cage that will meet our Spec Z class rules. Now this is very important. If you're not comfortable with your welding skills, then you really need to have this part done by a professional at a chassis shop. After all, this is the most important modification you will be making to your car to go racing and racing safely. Next time on Power Nation Garage, we're installing racing suspension in our 350Z, so when we finish this project, we can go do this.